Hey, I'm Renee, but you can call me Blade, and this is the Oh My God Show, and we are reading through the Bible, and we are in the book of Numbers. Now, the Bible is divided into two parts, the Old Testament and the New Testament. It has a total of 66 books. Now, each book is divided into chapters and verses. Now, the Bible has the ability to change your life because certainly it has changed mine. Now, let's get right into it. In chapter 23, verse 1, it says, Balaam said, Build me seven altars here and prepare seven bulls and seven rams for me. Balak did as Balaam said, and the two of them offered a bull and a ram on each altar. Then Balaam said to Balak, Stay here beside your offering while I go aside. Perhaps the Lord will come to meet with me. Whatever he reveals to me, I will tell you. Then he went off to a barren height. God met with him, and Balaam said, I have prepared seven altars. And on each altar, I have offered a bull and a ram. The Lord put a word in Balaam's mouth and said, Go back to Balak and give him this word. In verse 6 it says, So he went back to him and found him standing beside his offering with all the Moabite officials. Then Balaam spoke his message. Balak brought me from Aram, the king of Moab, from the eastern mountains. Come, he said, curse Jacob for me. Come, denounce Israel. How can I curse those whom God has not cursed? How can I denounce those whom God has not denounced? From the rocky peaks I see them, from the heights I view them. I see a people who live apart and do not consider themselves one of the nations, who can count the dust of Jacob or number even a fourth of Israel. Let me die the death of the righteous, and may my final end be like theirs. Balak said to Balaam, What have you done to me? I brought you to curse my enemies, but you have done nothing but bless them. He answered, Must I not speak what the Lord puts in my mouth? In verse 13 it says, Then Balak said to him, Come with me to another place where you can see them. You will not see them all, but only the outskirts of their camp. And from there curse them for me. So he took him to the field of Zohim, to the top of Pishgash, and there he built seven altars and offered a bull and a ram on each altar. Balaam said to Balak, Stay here beside your offering while I meet with him over there. The Lord met with Balaam and put a word in his mouth and said, Go back to Balak and give him his word. So he went to him and found him standing beside his offering with the Moabite officials. Balak asked him, What did the Lord say? Then he spoke his message. Arise, Balak, and listen. Hear me, son of Zephor. God is not human that he should lie, not a human being that he should change his mind. Does he speak and then not act? Does he promise and not fulfill? I have received a command to bless. He has blessed and I cannot change it. No misfortune is seen in Jacob, no misery observed in Israel. The Lord their God is with them. The shout of the king is among them. God brought them out of Egypt. They have the strength of a wild ox. There is no divination against Jacob, no evil omens against Israel. It will now be said of Jacob and of Israel, see what God has done. The people rise like a lioness. They rose themselves like a lion that does not rest till it devours its prey and drinks the blood of its victims. Then Balak said to Balaam, Neither curse them at all, nor bless them at all. Balaam answered, Did I not tell you I must do whatever the Lord says? Then Balak said to Balaam, Come, let me take you to another place. Perhaps it will please God to let you curse them for me from, from there. And Balak took Balaam to the top of Peor, overlooking the wasteland. Balaam said, Build me seven altars here, and prepare seven bulls and seven rams for me. Balak did as Balaam had said, and offered a bull and a ram on each altar. This is the word of the Lord. We honor it by saying, Thanks be to God for his holy word. Father God, I thank you, O God, that when you bless us, God, that no one can curse us. I thank you, O God, that when you speak for us, God, that no one can unspeak for us, God. 
I thank you, Lord, that you are amazing, that you are awesome, that you are powerful, that you are all powerful, that you are not a man that you can lie, that you are not human beings, God, that when you promise, you are not able to fulfill. Father God, I know that you are able to fulfill every single promise you've made to me, God, every promise in my life, every promise you've made to the viewers, the subscribers of this channel. Father God, remember us, oh God. Remember our cries. Remember, Father God, our faithfulness. And Father God, in our moments of weakness, oh God, I pray that you will give us strength, oh God. Forgive us of our sins, oh God, and cleanse us of all our unrighteousness. Father God, as we go closer to you, God, as we can see our spots, our blemishes, our wrinkles, Father God, I pray, oh God, that you will do a makeover for us, oh God, a spiritual makeover. Father God, change my heart, oh God. Father God, I pray against unforgiveness, God, against bitterness, Father God. So many of us, Lord, we are struggling with this, God. Father God, help us to forgive our enemies. Teach us to love our enemies, O oh God, and teach us to follow you with all our heart. T tell us, O oh God, in our heart, O oh God, allow us to be able to say that I would rather die the death of the righteous, O oh God, than to take bribes from the enemy. I thank you for all that you do and have done in our lives. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Thank you so much for watching. I am Blade, and I will see you next time. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you're interested in finding out what is written in this book that is so popular, that is called the Bible, that holds the key to your life on this earth as well as the afterlife. God bless, take care, and I will see you next time. Bye, I'm Blade, I'm cutting. Bye, see you next time. Did I say that already? I think I did. Bye.